It's starting with the train That's turning to reality And all that seems impossible Became impossible When you started to believe Looking at the stars they always Three, two, seem so far one. away Until oh you reached out your hand Brendan, will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. In the name of God, I, Brendan. In the name of God, I, Emily. Take you, Emily, to be my wife. Take you, Brendan, to be my husband. 
to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish until we are parted by death this is my solemn vow bless O lord these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through jesus christ our lord amen emily I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Brandon, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And let's all say amen together. Amen. amen. asked me to be his best man and I said yes the first words out of Emily's mouth were you know you will have to give a speech even though public speaking is not my thing I can honestly say that I am happy to do it because I consider it both an honor and a blessing to be standing up here as Brendan's best man. all fathers hope that as the years go by they instill qualities in their children that will help them grow up to be responsible adults. I must admit that I have learned just as much from Brendan as I hope he has learned from me. Two qualities that have always stood out in Brendan, all the way back to being a toddler, are perseverance and determination. How many toddlers will request to watch a golf tournament when it's time to be put down for a nap? Brendan always did. I can vividly remember being at golf tournaments with the temperature being in the 30s. North wind blowing, wind chill below freezing. Brendan rarely complained. In closing, this speech is supposed to be about Brendan, but Emily, I have to say that I am honored and blessed to be able to call you my daughter. Tammy and I welcome you into our family. We love you both and wish you guys all the best. Well, Brendan, here we are. You ruined my plan. But if any guy were to ruin my plan, 
I am glad it's a man like you. Thank you for loving Emily and protecting her. Thank you for being patient with her and making her laugh. Thank you for bringing her coffee in the morning and making Nashville home for Emily. Thank you for treating my best friend like she deserves. I could not ask for a better guy for Emily to spend her life with. The love between you two is evident and the way you care for Emily is inspiring. But I have one final note for you, Brendan. You may convert Emily to be a Titans fan and a Predators fan, but as Sandra Bullock said in The Blind Side, she will not wear that god awful orange. Spend a little time together. 